Hello everyone, this is Mike Stoffergen with Showstopper Sequences. I wanted to make a little video to show you something that came out in uh, version 2023.06. We're on 0.07 now, but uh, it's a set of utilities that you find in the submodels menu on your layout tab. Uh, so I'm going to jump into this and show you what this tool will do. Uh, it's pretty amazing. All right, so I'm going to start. This is our Showstopper Spinner here, Showstopper Snowflake on the right. I'm going to select the spinner. I'm going to select from there. I'm going to go to the Layout tab up here at the top. And then from the Layout tab, I'm going to select Submodels. And you'll see all the submodels that we have with this, uh, <clears throat> with this prop listed out to the left. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a submodel. Now, when I do that, I get uh, the blank prop over here on the right. Uh, I'm not going to name the submodel yet because I like to look at what it looks like before I actually name it. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I am going to uh, start with the, the, the second row here. And I'm just going to start selecting some pixels. Now you'll see I'm, I'm basically holding down my left button, dragging it over the pixel, and then that selects it. When I select it, the number of that pixel, uh, its designation, appears over here in the uh, node ranges. So I'm going to start there and uh, let me see, I'm going to go here, I'm going to go here, uh, there, there, um, go up a couple of this way, then maybe come back over this way a little bit, go back towards the center, uh, come over here, uh, go to the left a couple of times, center, left a couple of times, center, uh, center again, left, right, uh, left, right, uh, left, and uh, right. Okay, that's where I'm going to stop is right there. Whoops, one, one too many. All right, so that kind of gives me a little pattern. You'll see it's all right here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to right click and a whole new set of utilities. This did not exist before 2023.06. Uh, there's tools that allows you to remove duplicates, to suppress them, uh, to sort strand points geometrically. There's some things here. I have no idea what they do. Um, the gentleman who uh, programmed this uh, into X Lights. He has a great blog post on his, uh, his, his show website, and I'll give you a link to that in the comments where you can go and actually read, and uh, maybe folks that are smarter than me can, can figure out what all these things mean. But the one that I'm going to focus in right now is this one that's called symmetri Symmetrize Rotational, okay? So basically what this will do is it will finish out this submodel for me. I am going to uh, click it, and it's going to ask me the degrees of symmetry. Now, the Showstopper Spinner is built on 12. There's 12 circles, 12 lines. That's all that's, that, that makes up that prop. The default here is 8, so I am going to increase that to 12. I'm going to tell it OK. And it says, should the center node be identified? Well, if you look at the center node here, it's not actually selected. So I am going to select No, and we tell it OK. Now, what it did was it automatically created the other 11 arms of that submodel. Now, I don't know what this is going to look like, but uh, let's go see. I'm going to tell it, uh, OK, I'm going to save that submodel. And I have created an animation over here, a little 30 second animation sequence. Uh, now, it's got the snowflake and the spinner. I'm just going to double click on the spinner. And I know that one is all the way at the bottom called Submodel 1. So I'm going to scroll down there. And sure enough, there's Submodel 1. And I'm going to put a single strand effect with the default set to a single line. Now, this is a brand new submodel. I've never made it before. We're just taking a look at it, see what it'll do. Maybe we like it, maybe we don't. Uh, but anyway, so that's uh, with six chases. Uh, let's see what it looks like with, uh, let's go all the way up to 12. Okay, and with 12 you can kind of see. Now, I don't particularly like that, but uh, I, it did look a little interesting at 11. 
Uh, let me reduce the chase size down to, well, let me see what we get when we get to about four. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, not great, not bad. Uh, okay, increase it up to six. Okay, so what this does, it allows me to create a submodel, take a look at it very quickly, and decide uh, whether or not I actually like it. Now, this is just drawing a single line, and then the program, those utilities that he wrote, uh, actually allow us to, to really quickly prototype a submodel and decide whether or not we like it. All right, so I'm going to next go to the layout. I'm going to show you how it works with the snowflake. Now, the big difference between the snowflakes and the spinner, the spinner's got 12 going around. Well, this has six arms, okay? So we're going to be using a, a base six kind of when we create a submodel. So I, again, I'm going to go to the submodel menu. I'm going to come up here and I am going to add a submodel. Okay, it's submodel two. I'm going to delete sub, submodel one there. Okay, so we're going to delete that. I'm going to look at submodel two. And again, I'm going to go in and I'm going to draw one arm uh, of this. And I'm going to start over here. And again, I'm just selecting the pixel. Now, the order of the pixels is important to me because that's the order that they're going to show up. Okay, I'm going to split this here. I'm going to go a different direction. Uh, again, I'm going from left to right, uh, left uh, to right. Okay, I'm going to bring it back in towards the center. Now, you can basically do whatever you want. You don't have to follow the left-right pattern. I just kind of like it because it kind of gives it a, an even flow going forward. And uh, let me come up a little bit here. And uh, then we're going to go left, right, uh, left, right, left, right to a cascade. I'm going to come up another tier. And I'm going to do that again with a second one. Left, right, left, right. Oops, I missed one. Now, if you miss one, you can hold down the Shift key and highlight it again, and it undoes it. So I'm going to select that one, then that one. And again, I'm just trying to keep it uh, symmetrical uh, as I go forward. And again, I keep missing the left side. Don't know why. All right, there we go. And then I'm going to finish it off by coming up to the top here of this and just cascading down uh, a couple. Okay, so it looks like I have kind of some stacked umbrellas here. Um, so that's what I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it a stacked umbrella now that I see what it looks like. All right, so I'm gonna, now I'm going to use that tool again. I'm going to come over. I'm going to right click and I'm going to do the rotation. Now remember, we've got six arms, so I'm going to reduce that down to six. Okay, now it's created all six of them for me. I'm going to tell it OK. Save it. I'm going to go back to the sequencing tab, and uh, I'm going to take what we had over there on the spinner. I'm going to take that exact same thing. Let's go over here to the snowflake. Go all the way down to the bottom. Oops, wrong, went too far. Uh, go down all the way to the bottom of the snowflake. And um, you'll see there the stacked umbrellas. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it on the stacked umbrellas. All right. And you can see the, uh, the little thing that I did with the uh, snowflake. I like it a lot better than what I did with uh, the spinner. So if I were going to add another submodel, uh, I would select the one for the snowflake that I just created. Probably the one for the spinner, yeah, it might be okay for like Halloween, uh, but it really doesn't do much for me. So that one I probably wouldn't keep. Uh, the one on the right though is a, is a real contender. All right, so this tool allows you to very quickly go in and create submodels without having to sit there and and uh, you know make sure that you get it right from each of those six arms or like with the big spinner when you're doing 12 
man, that's that takes a lot of time, and and uh, I know I always mess up and, and miss one or add one in uh, when I'm doing that many. But uh, this eliminates some of the human error and uh, lets you prototype a submodel and determine what you want very, very quickly. So that's a new tool we have available to you. I hope you find this useful, uh, and uh, thank you very much.